1995, Gel Rogiers established his own little loft. There was merely a two-by-two -two loft. His mother was his housemate. Also, he found it simple to pick up the sport quickly. Since their family is tied to several accomplished fanciers, he was able to obtain quality pigeons at that time. The Haubin family was among the most well-known names. The wife of Jeff Haubin was linked to Jell's grandmother. Jell frequently visited them when he was around 12 years old. If he could, he assisted them in their place. Talking to the local fanciers while cleaning the lofts. The most crucial action he took was listening. Long term, this made Jell stronger because he had the opportunity to learn a lot from all of those elite fanciers when he was younger. Their standard hen, Queen L, took first place in a 600-kilometer race in La Souterraine in 2004. She outran 19,000 pigeons, old and young together, and was the fastest. They had the option of selling her, but chose not to. And that changed everything for them, it was the best choice they made. Gan with Queen L, a hen of Theo Iscout, times an inbred of grandfather August Rogiers. They then had the chance to join the Haubin family in a co-breeding. Jeff Haubin had called, as Jell recalled. And Jell was instructed by Jeff to bring their hen Queen L over. Go upstairs and take Pinocchio out of his box, Jeff instructed him. Jell walked upstairs, removed Pinocchio from his box, and then descended. Jeff Haubin then drove Jell to another loft. He instructed Jell to take a seat before grabbing a bowl. Place Pinocchio and Queen L together in the box after placing the nest bowl inside. What are you doing right now, Jell continues. Son, you are now going to be a pigeon flyer, Jeff Haubin replied. Jell experiences a lot of unexpected shifts in a short period of time. That union produced four offspring for Jell and four offspring for Jeff Haubin. And out of the four birds Jell had, three produced top 10 and top 100 in the national, who are still the foundation of Jell Rogier's loft. Jell Rogier's engaged in line breeding with Queen L, and the results were excellent. And the line birds, which also produced superb outcomes and continues to be successful.